Ready or not, here it comes. Our next weather system rolls into East Tennessee overnight tonight, and we will have a very messy weather day tomorrow across the region. If you don't have to be out and about, you should probably plan to stay in place simply because of the potential for the rain and the wintry mix and the heavy snow. Let's kind of walk you through the timeline of how we see things going overnight tonight. The main batch of precipitation will start to move in. So by around sunrise tomorrow morning, just about everybody is going to be seeing something, but this is where it gets very confusing and it changes depending on your location. Our horseshoe counties, the plateau, the northern valley, southeast Kentucky and the higher elevations of the mountain will likely start the day with a winter wintry mix or snow already falling on the ground, possibly even light accumulations by around sunrise. But the valley, especially from about Morristown down to the south, is actually exposed to start as rain or possibly just a few sleep pellets mixed in there too. So that's why the valley is going to have the lower snow totals because we're going to have what we call a warm nose and we're also going to have down sloping winds. Our winds are going to kind of be out of the east and the northeast, both of which create a down sloping motion out of the mountains. This is why forecasting in East Tennessee is so complicated and that creates a warming pattern in the air and also a drying pattern. So I want you to take note of something. Notice here through the valley, especially in the foothills, there may be some periods tomorrow where there's not precipitation falling from the sky as we go through about the noon hour or into the early afternoon because of that downsloping wind. Again, that's why the precipitation totals are lower in those places. Meanwhile, our plateau counties will continue to see that wintry weather, so totals will continue to add up in our horseshoe counties. Then as the system starts to move off to the northeast, our winds will switch to be more out of the north. That will start to change over the valley from rain to a wintry mix to sleet to eventually snow. We may see that transition actually happen in the southern valley first. You'll see that on our snowfall totals uh, map as well. The Central Valley is where our biggest question mark is located because your totals are going to depend on the timing of when we finally see that changeover from the rain to the mix to eventually snow. And that's probably not going to happen until after sunset tomorrow night. The moisture will be departing at that point. But look at this on Monday. We have another little wave of energy coming through that northwest wind flow once again bringing more snow to the area. So this is factored into our totals that I'm about to show you right now. Here's how we see things playing out. Remember I said the Central Valley, it has the biggest question mark. That's why we have such a range of totals that you could be seeing here. Some of you from Lenore City up to Knoxville, that does include Maryville, Alcoa, and even Sevierville and Pigeon Forge. Some of you may only see a dusting of snow, and that may not come until overnight Sunday night or even into Monday morning with that next little, uh, little wave of energy that comes on through. But some of you could see close to an inch of snow. So there's going to be a wide variety of totals through the Central Valley. The Southern Valley could be a dusting or could be an inch. It's going to depend on when we see again that changeover, but it does. We do expect that to happen actually before the Knoxville area changes from about Dandridge, Jefferson City, Morristown northward in the valley, maybe one to three inches, slightly better confidence of that colder air being in place. But remember, the valley totals depend on when you see that switch over to snow. This is not going to be as big of an event for our foothill areas as some previous events have been because this time the wind isn't coming from the northwest. It's coming from the northeast. So that downsloping motion I was telling you about about two to five inches, maybe in the foothills, highest totals up in the higher elevations of the mountains and the plateau two to four inches up in northern parts of Morgan County into southern Scott and Campbell County, but northern Scott and Campbell County, Fentress and Cumberland could see four to seven inches or maybe even more depending on how that snow band ends up setting up. So when we talk about these totals, it's important to also talk about potential impacts. From the heavy snow, the plateau in the mountains are going to see the higher impacts because of the snow that's sitting on the ground. Obviously, the valley with the lighter totals, not going to see as much from the actual snow sitting on the ground. Slick roads are definitely expected on our plateau and uh, counties and up into the mountains. And then the wind is also going to become breezy and power outages will be a concern since this will be a heavy wet snow. So when you look at this map, this does not mean that we will not see snow for these counties that are not included in these alerts. What that means is that you're not expected to have widespread road issues from that snow. Remember, you could still see up to an inch in some of these places. We now have a winter weather advisory for Knox and Sevier County northward in the valley with these areas shaded in purple. That winter weather advisory simply means that slick roads are possible 
and this goes until 7 a.m. Monday. So that could be from black ice too, not just necessarily the snow accumulating on on the roadways, but that's what that means. Winter weather advisory slick roads possible. Hazardous roads are expected where you see the pink in our horseshoe counties here. That's where we don't want you traveling if you don't have to be through the day Sunday and overnight and even into Monday morning as well. Wind, as I said, going to be breezy across the area. Everybody could see wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour, but especially in the higher elevations, that's a high wind warning. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Don't travel through the mountains if you don't have to. Newfound Gap Road is already closed. We can see almost blizzard type conditions in those highest elevations between the heavy snow and the wind blowing that snow around throughout the day on Sunday. So tonight to recap for you, mostly cloudy. The precipitation moves in lows or temperatures. I should say stay steady overnight in the low to mid 30s in the valley, a little bit cooler up on the plateau. Cold and breezy through the day on Sunday with messy weather conditions. Again, temperatures just hold steady through the day in the 30s, but our wind chills will be in the 20s and they will be again on Monday too with that little clipper system sweeping on through with a little bit more snow, maybe more light accumulation possible from that little system. Tuesday things quiet down and we'll get to see some sunshine. Wednesday the next system rolls in and we'll just check back for updates as we go through that time and period from Wednesday into next weekend is yes, some more snowflakes could fly around East Tennessee.